Beautiful things are meant to happen to beautiful people, but unfortunately, that isn't the case of my friends and I. I am Kambeli Chuku Agum, a senior journalist in Skywise Group. On this day, 20th January 2024, I lost my job. My boss, Rosie, called me incompetent, but I know one thing is certain. I deserve better. So I'm guessing this is the end for me here. It was fun while it lasted. Bye, Skywise Group. Sam, Sam, Rosero 70C2, take one. And action! No, I love you. Oh, no. Okay. And how exactly do you want to prove it to you? No, no, I don't believe you. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. And cut. All right, well done, everybody. Well done, guys. It's a good one. Uh, we call it a wrap. Yeah. So strike down, strike down, everybody. We just wrapped this. Well done. Nice one. Okay. Hello, good morning, Ma. I'll call you back. Good morning, Ma. Your production is doing such a fantastic job. Although the lines were properly delivered as I visualized it in my head. But it's fine. Who are you again? Your best friend. That is Zini Achibi. She never seemed to remember anyone's name. Or does she? Maybe she does that on purpose. Well, Zini isn't part of my squad, but we were in the same school in uni. Fine, I admit, she's the most successful amongst us, and she never misses an opportunity to rub that in. I'm the writer, Ma. I did the screenplay, Ma. I see. Yes, Ma. Do you know you're very stupid? So because you're privileged to write for Zillow Studios, you think you can stand here and spew nonsense out of your mouth? Do you know how stressful it is for me to stand here and watch you morons do your job? Why? Because I don't trust you people enough to handle it in my absence. And you dare stand before me and tell me the dialogues weren't well interpreted? I'm sorry, ma. I'm very, very sorry. Sorry I, for yourself. I didn't mean to upset you, ma. Really? Who even brought the writer on set? Who brought this girl here? Who brought a writer to set? Oh, hold on, I'll call you back. I did. Oh. I brought her to uh, assist with the dialogue. You know, this is a big project and we can't leave any stone unturned now. That's why I brought her in. You're so dumb. So you can't even change a simple dialogue on set? You have to get a writer to come to set? Why am I even paying you? You know what? You're fired. Uh, ma, ma. I don't want to hear any word from you. Oh, Ma, you don't have to fire him because of me. I'm sorry. Oh. Huh. So you are his what? Spokeswoman? You seem to have a loud mouth. You too, you're fired. Oh, Ma. Two of you can get out of my sight and continue your show of shame. What's Ma? Uh, excuse me, Ma. I only came to correct. Oh, it's okay. I don't want to see you put there in the next five minutes. Security will come throw the both of you out. You don't have Stupid. to get yourself up, you know? I... It's okay. What did I do wrong? Yes, so my country people, welcome to another episode of Know Your Root Morning with Julius Ruben on Street FM. If you're the end towards Third Milan Bridge side, you could definitely want to go back or change your route because... Serious traffic, Western Kiriba, they don't Oh, side. these people. Oh, now I know they quick they give up this. After I don't enter, go slow finish. Up. What? Wake 
Wake up, Kambili. You're running late. Kambili, uh, there's traffic along the airport road. Wake up. How is that my business? What do you mean? Here we go again. Meet the angels in my life. Meet the very intelligent and hardworking Irima. She would always wear a smile on her face no matter the situation. But she's got this annoying neighbor who intimidates her and wouldn't give her peace. But then again, she knows how to handle her neighbor. Wake up! Wake up! Ah! What's that for? To wake you up, of course. Look, we even heard that there's traffic along Airport Road. So, you just might not even meet up that flight. Mm -hmm. Okay? Did I forget to mention Zirachi? Zira is the life of the party, the ever fun Zira. She creates her own happiness and doesn't fail to spread it. In another word, she's crazy. This one has this amazing man that we never get to see but never stops talking about him. Oh my goodness, my flight is an hour. Yes, and you're going to miss it. Look, it's going to take you another two to three hours to get to the airport. And by the time you get there, your flight must have left. Well, why didn't you girls wake me or something? To worry. No, you don't have to. No, Kambili. Look, you don't need to run out of town like a scared chicken just because you lost your job. I am not running out of town. It's called starting over again. Just need to leave and figure myself, figure my life out. Well, that's why we are your best friends. We'll figure it out together with you. Mm. And while we're at that, how about we go prepare for Debbie's party tomorrow? Yes! <laughs> so, it's shopping time! Oh, girl. Oh, girl. <laughs> yes, you know, I just lost my job. It's going to be fine. You are going nowhere. Okay? You girls. <laughs> but I love you still, love so. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy! Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Nancy! Welcome, ma'am. Don't ever make me scream your name like that again. I'm sorry, ma'am. I was attending to customers. Really? Yes, ma'am. I hope you know that there are some wares in the Turkish line that you shouldn't sell. Oh, Pizza. some customers are already shopping from the items. I don't get Well, let me call her. I hope you're not shopping from that one. Hello? Excuse me. You left your customers waiting. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll be with you shortly. I'm so sorry. Okay. Zini? Oh my god. Girls, come. Come see what we have here. Zinni. Oh, come on. This is definitely the last person I want to see today. But don't worry. You'll find out soon. What are your names again? And boom. Here is the reason. Oh, please. You definitely remember our names. But as usual, you just enjoy being noticed, don't you? <laughs> you must really think highly of yourself for me to remember your names. Anyway, scratch that. So, what's up? It's been a while. <sighs> but from the look of things, life haven't been so good to you girls. <laughs> 
Well, at least we're alive. Not everyone is privileged to be alive. I know, right? Which is why I am always grateful to God. <laughs> this, this is our costume store. I run an entertainment firm now, built to accommodate everything entertainment. Like I said, this is our costume store, where the costumer comes to pick up costumes for the movies. And then we sell out already used ones. And we have really good equipment. Red cameras, black magics, good sounds, <laughs> just to mention a few. And we have good directors. Our directors are amazing. Costumiers, makeup artists. The only department that we are lacking right now is writers. We're looking for good, creative, and intelligent writers. And they're kind of scarce these days. But anyway, girls, <laughs> you know, we are the best. We are the absolute best. So please feel free to recommend us um, to your best clients. <laughs> we'll keep that in mind, Zini. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, girls, have a great day. <laughs> Nancy! Yes, ma'am. Remember, we're selling off just the used ones, okay? All right, ma'am. All right, girls, enjoy. <laughs> Wow. I am honestly not a fan of that girl. Neither do I. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I won't let her bad energy get to me. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to shop like it's 19. Oh, it was cheap then. Things were cheap in 19. You get my point, don't you, baby girl? We are actually getting used to this, right? Hi, okay, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's get it. <laughs> you guys know that with everything that we have here in these bags, ah, we're definitely painting the town right. Zira, I agree. <laughs> it is just a small house party. Stop exaggerating. Okay. Hey, as long as you get the points though, we don't need you running out of town. It's way too much fun here. Girls, you do know it's going to be very hard for me to get another job, right? I mean, Rosie is quite influential. She's going to make sure no firm, no company, no organization is going to give me another job. That's the only reason I'm leaving. But you haven't even tried. See, after tomorrow's party, you have to go and see Zini. Zini? Yes. As in Zini Achebe? <sighs> the same Zini who reminded us how life has been unfair to us. But <sighs> girl, at this point, you don't even have so much of a choice, right? You need money to keep up with the lifestyle. <laughs> I mean, house rent is doing well, how many months? Few months. <laughs> Plus other bills that you even told me about. You girls seem to have forgotten what this girl did to me back then in school. Uh, what happened to let bygones be bygones? Well, no, I'm not going to let it go so soon. Well, as it is now, Zini has like one of the biggest entertainment firms that you can think of. Yeah, plus she produces most of the popular TV commercials that you see for the big brands. I even hear she pays well. Like she pays her staff well, as long as you can handle her craze. So. Can't believe. Zini has one of the best firms right now. You can actually talk to her. She might give you a job as a creative or even as a writer. This is an opportunity, girl. Grab it. Mm -hmm. Now, thankfully, I am a journalist, not a writer. Yes, a journalist. And who says you can be a writer? Girl, your writing skills now follow come. It's inbuilt. It's in you, sis. Fine, fine, fine. But what if she refuses to give me the job? 
Then we'll find you something else. Rosie can't possibly know everyone in this town. Come on. Exactly. Plus, if it doesn't work out, then they will let you relocate. Uh, sorry, I didn't hear you. We promise <laughs> you will let you relocate. You <laughs> what? <laughs> we promise. You promise. Yes. Thank you. Swear. <laughs> you I promise. am swearing though. You, no, you have to. <laughs> you promise. I have promised. Sealed. Anyway, now that we're done with all of this, guys, it is about time to get ready for the party. Zima, the party is tomorrow. Gives us even more time. Now you to have get a ready. time. <laughs> you don't want to have a time. I'm hungry. I'm Who's not hungry? Please, I'm hungry. <laughs> if you're hungry, you better join me in the kitchen. I'm okay. Coming. <laughs> coming through. Hey, let's get it. Anybody here? Oh. Good afternoon, ma'am. Hi. Good afternoon. Where's your madam? Where's Zini? Um, and who is looking for Zini? Good afternoon, ma'am. I Good wasn't afternoon. expecting to see you in the boutique today. Why is that? Am I not allowed to visit my investment? <laughs> I don't mean it that way, ma'am. It's just that the next two projects started yesterday and you usually don't come to the boutique when there's a production on ground. <laughs> so you're monitoring me now. My friend, will you go and mind the business that pays you? I'm sorry, ma'am. Sorry for yourself. What is that your name again? Oh, I forgot. Zirachi. Yeah, right. You seem to be visiting my property a lot lately. What do you want? Well, first off, you need to get off that high horse. Plus, I'm here to discuss something very beneficial with you. Beneficial? I like. I'm a businesswoman. Shoot. So, Kambili has been out of job for a while. Actually, she's been job hunting. You know her, she's, she's a very good writer. So I, I thought to speak to you about it. <laughs> you know, since you're currently short on staff, maybe she could be the creative writer for your company. <laughs> you're a comedian. <laughs> what makes you think I care? Hmm? I will never employ Kambili in my firm. Well, just to be clear, I am not here to convince you. I am rather here to remind you of her worth. I really hope that you remember that that girl is the singular reason why you passed your final year project. I really hope you remember how she wrote you the most talked about story back then in that department, Zini. And then she fucked my man in return. How generous. Well, your man wanted her. She could have said no. She didn't even know that you had any feelings for him. <laughs> Guess what? My girl was kind enough to ask you, and you said you had no feelings for him. In fact, in your words, he is not my type. So she sleeps with my leftovers? She didn't even know he was your leftover. Why are you so mad after all these years? When you know for a fact that she didn't even realize that you felt anything for him. Just so you know. I will never employ Kambili in my firm. That's okay. And that's your loss, my darling. Because you know that Kambili is an asset. And if you really, really need creative writers around here, that's exactly who you should be looking to work with. Wait. Is she what you claim she is? Here's my card. Tell her to call me. Good choice. Have a good day. Thank you. Nancy! Nancy! Yes, ma'am.
What we do now, right? Oh, um, we'll the cake. Yeah, but I think we should sing for the celebrant first. What do you guys say? Good. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Before we doing the um, cutting of the cake, okay. I think uh, we need to respect the name Jesus. Yes. Yes. What? So before, before we cut the cake, can someone give me J? J. Can someone give me E? E. Can you guys give me X? S. Please give me U. U. Give me X. S. I saw her go up to her room with her man going upstairs. Oh, really? Oh, I <laughs> see. Oh. Yes. Mm. Uh, but this part is getting boring, though. Then let's go on, girls. No. You guys, we can make it fun. Okay? All right, guys. Truth or dare? Anyone? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Right? That. Yes. Yeah. Sounds fun. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, no. I'm leaving. I'm going home. Are you drunk? <laughs> of course not. What do you mean by am I drunk? I'm not drunk, girl. I just want to go. Hey, babe, like, relax now. You girl, don't have to go. I just to go. want to go home. Leaving. Bye, guys. Come, come. Come, Billy. Why Let's go after her. Of course. Come! You are making me sick. Why is it so difficult to find a freelance writer? You know it is hard to get the writer that falls into the category you are looking for. The ones I trust are fully booked one. I don't get. Who fully books a writer? I don't get. <laughs> this is amazing. Anyway, just find me a brilliant writer. Okay? That's all I ask of you. Find me a brilliant writer. All right, ma'am. I'll keep searching. Please do that as soon as possible. Okay. Oh, God. <sighs> I really need to get a good writer. I don't want my client thinking that Zillow Studios are short of writers. Should I employ Kambili? I hate that girl. That girl is a snitch and a betrayer. 
Ah, oh, shit. off like that. Yeah, my ride is here. I need to go home. <sighs> you guys, it looks like it's about to rain. Right? Uh, the more reason I need to live. Is it actually her goal? You know how she can be. You know we can go home with you, right? I know. I know. can't believe he's safe. <laughs> Please. I am safe. I am Wait. I am fine. I am fine. <gasps> Wait, you guys, isn't this Eric's <sighs> car? Yeah. I called him to come pick us up. <clears throat> <laughs> Why are you in such a hurry now? I'm tired. <sighs> oh, hi, Eric. Oh, hi. hi. <laughs> yeah, see, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. Hey, so Good to see you. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. Oh, you guys are looking beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Yeah. Are you ready to go home? Yes, baby. Okay, Zira, let's go. Kambini, yeah. be safe. Okay, please. Yes. See you later. Okay. Bye. Um, Eric, please, my girls. Take <laughs> good care of them. They mean so Take much care. to me. Love you, girls. <laughs> be Love safe, you. Kambini. Girl, you're drunk. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> right. okay. Thank you, baby. Oh, thank you. You're such a gentle man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where would you like me to sit? <laughs> Hope you enjoyed yourself, right? <laughs> Guys, she's always doing this. She asked me to leave her house again. See, if she continues like this, I, I might have to end the relationship. I'm sick and tired of this now. Ah. What the hell? Yeah, hold on. I, I have to call you back. My, my, car, my car just started jerking. Yeah, okay. the heck is parked in front of my compound? He's honk. What is wrong with him? Sir, please just end the trip. How much is it? Done it. <gasps> what are you doing? What are you doing in front of my car? I locked my key inside the car. And my wallet is in there too. Oh my God, it's Just come in, come in, come in, come in. Oh, oh, my okay. friend, okay. oh sorry. Easy. Easy. It's okay. Okay. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Oh my. 
my goodness, look at that body. Oh, he is so hot. Um, yeah, here, here you go. You're shivering. Let me help you. No, it's okay. I can help. See how cute he is even in his sleep. Dear God, please, 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 please. This should be mine, please. He's so cute. He's obviously taken. And I'm here imagining a future that won't happen. Rubbish. Okay, oh yeah. Come on, be going home. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Uh, did you sleep well? Please, save the police entries. I've called the mechanic. He's coming here to fix your car. So get ready. You need to leave my house. Okay. Thank you. Um, last night was... Last night was fun. It was fun while it lasted. You see, today is a new day. Whatever happened between us last night is long forgotten. Get ready. You need to leave my house. Right. So you don't want to talk about what happened last night? Trust me, I had an, an amazing time. Uh-huh. Of course you did. But I bet your girlfriend doesn't know you cheated on her last night. Look, I'm not going to stay here and lie to you that I am not in a relationship. But the truth is, it's complicated. <laughs> It is complicated. Isn't that men's new excuse to cheat? Well, you have 20 minutes to leave my house. Wait, are you really blaming me for last night? It was your idea, remember? You have 10 minutes. Wait, okay, okay, look. There was no introduction. My name is Chatachi. I'm getting your clothes. You're leaving my house this minute. At least tell me your name. Ah, Kambili. You're crazier than Zirachi, and she's supposed to be the mad one amongst us. You slept with a stranger. Well, in my defense, I was drunk. You know I wouldn't do that on your normal. No, please. Don't blame my favorite cousin, Tequila, for your little sex capade. Okay? Because from the look of things, you definitely enjoyed whatever it is that you had. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> anyway, tell us all about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the tea? How was it? You girls. <laughs> <laughs> spill, spill, spill. Fine. He's, he's cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. And his lips are quite soft. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so how about the sex? Tell us about the sex. Because a guy as cute as you say he is would definitely know how to worship a woman's body, wouldn't he? Yeah, the sex was good. But does that matter? Because he has a girlfriend. I saw his phone ring and caller ID, my baby. Oh, you're so cute. Look at your jealous face. I think you like this one. I like one. Please, I hope you've heard the saying, there is no single man anywhere in the world. So you either have to share or you snatch. <laughs> As for me, I'm not a sharer, so you can figure out the rest yourself. If you like him, I think you should go for him, sis. Except he's married, though. 
Okay. He doesn't look like a married man, though. So. No, it's simple. Call him and find out. I don't have his number. And can we please stop with this talk? Because, yeah, we had fun. That's it. I had fun with a stranger. Of course you did. <laughs> but wait, you, you don't... You don't what? You don't have, have his number. How would you have his number? I mean, what if he's the one? Oh, please, girl. <laughs> oh. Okay. Erima. See, the more I'm looking at your face and how much pain you're in, the more angry I'm getting. Are you sure you don't want me to just come to your house and beat up that your silly neighbor? No, 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 no. Siva, it's fine. I promise. You know, I actually talked to the caretaker and he assured me that she's going to leave the house. Okay? I'll be fine. I'm doing good. Hmm. Are you sure? Yeah, I promise. And, um, Kabili, when are you going to see Zini? Yeah. I'm seeing her over the weekend. Yes. <laughs> so not excited. I am. Hmm. Wow. Beautiful place. She has done well for herself, I must say. Well, I am glad you noticed. Uh, hi. Hi, Zini. Hi, Kimberly. How are you? I well, scratched that. You still look the same. I couldn't make it to the office. Well, I wanted to give you, from my past, the privilege to come meet me in my home. Oh. Thank you for the privilege. Well, as I explained to you over the phone, I need a job. Yeah, right. As what? Zini, you know me too well. You know I have been a creative writer since our school days. I can write you really good commercial and even movies. Listen, Kambili, I don't know you as a writer. I know you as a journalist. Fine, back in school days, you wrote some stories for the theater arts department. But my femme is big and not for amateur writers who are still trying to know how to write. Zini, you know me too well. You know I'm good at this. And you might really consider giving me the job because as rumor has it, you fired your writer on set and it's been quite difficult getting another one due to your terrible attitude. Kambili, you will watch the way you speak to me. I am not a fan of you. Neither am I. So, why are you here? Let me guess. You were so curious to know the failure you have become. So you decided to visit me to see if I am as broken as you are. Right? I knew this was a bad idea. I told them it was a terrible idea. They should just let me go. But no. Well, you listen. I need this job. Yeah, I really, really need the job. But guess what? If I walk out of that door, we both will regret it. And you know why? As much as I need you, you need me too. And you heard me. Kimberly, with everything you did to me in school, 
You think I'll let you walk in my firm? <laughs> you want a job, right? You are going to get a job because I am in need of a writer. But I am definitely going to make your life miserable. The rules and regulations will be forwarded to your email. Your working hours, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you're two minutes late, you will be fined. Does that mean I have the job? Oh, goodness. For someone who claimed to be a creative writer, you're just too dumb. <sighs> Congratulations. You got the job. Oh, thank you. I'll make sure I make you proud. Oh. You're not supposed to make me proud. That's why you're paid to do your job right. Have a great day. I hate her. I hate her so much. <laughs> Seriously, it took the grace of God for me to tolerate her. Zini has not changed a bit. Girl, she's still very much rude, loud, mannerless, and obnoxious. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> but then, you know the good thing about this story of yours is at least you got the job. Exactly. You know, you and Zini have always had one problem or the other since our school days. I really hope you guys can put that aside now that you'll be working together. Please, please. I just wish I could get another job. Really? Because all I can think of right now is how I have to manage with her as my boss. Ha! <sighs> <sighs> Come, come. You need this job. I mean, by the time you think of how much money you need and how much you can get from the job, trust me, the right amount of patience that you need will come to you. Mm? And honestly, I am so excited that there is one company in this town that Rosie isn't affiliated with. See? Mm -hmm. At least now we know that Zinni is not that bad after all. Mm. Okay, I have to go now. Uh, I'm going to see Eric. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, he got back last night. I have to go now so I don't keep him waiting for too long. Go. Oh. You're going to see my man. Oh, oh okay. See your man. Oh. Bye. Oh. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye. All right. Oh. What is the oh? You said like how many? Bruv. Waiting. Don't go and look for your own peace of mind. Be here or into somebody else's own. Single to stupor. Don't worry, very soon we'll name you ambassador of single people. <laughs> wow! Look at who is talking. Coming from someone who is almost as single as I am. Who that? You. <laughs> Definitely not me. Because at least I have a man. You have a man. Mm -hmm. Where is he? I where where? Because you've been dating who for two years and we have never set our eyes on him. So where is he? Ah uh, wait, I thought we we're talking about you just now. How did we di digress from that? How did we get here? You huh? ask me. Ah, uh, Peggy. Oh, okay. Look at that. I just said it. <laughs> like I said, I have a man and that's him calling. You would have to excuse me, my darling. I have to take this. Uh, I know you don't know how he feels. And my man. <laughs> Thank you to my man. Hey, babe. Okay. <laughs> I'm going inside. Don't want this one, you. Uh, yeah, don't. Yeah, so I'm just at camps. Yeah. Oh. Hey, baby. Yeah, I'm home. You're coming over. Okay, okay. See you in a bit. <laughs> All right, babe. All right. Okay, might as well just get this place tidied up. Yes. 
Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we got this. Uh, just right there. <laughs> yep. Oh, babe, you can come in. The door is not locked. Hey, baby. Hey. How are you? How are you doing? I'm okay. Um. Oh wait. Why are you dressed like this? What is this? I've told you a thousand and one times that I do not like you dressing like a Gen Z. But I'm a Gen Z. I got to be fresh. Come on. You are a Gen Z that's dating a millennial. A Gen Z that's dating a millennial has to act like a millennial. Simple. Is there anything I'll do you ever like, please? What's that supposed to mean? Like we've been dating for like two years now. Two years. And it seems like all I do is warm your bed. If I didn't know any better, I'll say you didn't even love me. Like, on oh God, I swear. Right. Are you doubting how I feel about you? Like, you leave me confused, baby. The next time, the first time, it's like you love me. The next time, it's like you don't love me. Like, I, sometimes I don't even know what's going on here, really. Like, like, I'm confused. I get it. But whatever you do, just don't doubt how I feel about you. Then why can't you be like every other couple out there? You know, I want everyone to know you're my woman. I want to take you out. I want to meet your friends. Enough! Okay? <sighs> Enough! What is it? What is all? What's this? <sighs> Please, look, I'm not like all the other kids that you've dated in the past. I love to go everywhere with you, be flaunted or whatever. I don't care. Okay? In case you forgot, I am 32. Your screen is 24 years old, ain't it? You would not speak to me in that manner, ever. Okay? I wonder what has come over you. I'm sorry, baby. Come on, I didn't mean to upset you. I'm sorry, okay? Come on. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. You're sleeping here tonight, okay? What? Caroline! Caroline! Are you trying to kill me? What is wrong with you people? My you weren't specific about what you wanted, so I got you this. Oh, so you brought me a hot glass of juice in this hot weather? I'm so sorry. Are you crazy? Here. Listen, if this ever repeats itself, consider yourself fired. Okay? Don't you have any sense in you? What is this? Uh, hi, Zini. Do not refer to me as Zini. I am not your friend. You work for me. I am your boss. You bloody work for me now. Nonsense. Hi, Zini. Like what? Uh, I'm sorry, boss. Better. <sighs> so a colleague of mine who is based in the UK wants me to produce a movie for her. It's going to be a big project. She'll be submitting it to the AFA. As in the African Films Award? Wow, that's huge. Yes, it is. And I'm glad you understand. This project is huge. This is an opportunity for you to give me the story of your life. And besides, the biggest opportunity for you. You're going to be working with the head of our creative department and script editor. So this is what I want. An African-based story, something that has to do okay. with Nigerians struggling yes. in the country I'll and they have to relocate okay. abroad for a better living. What took you so long? Oh shit, not good. How in heaven's name is he here, calling Zini baby? It's fine. It's a good thing that you're here. <sighs> Chata. We have a new staff now. Her name is Kambili. 
humbly meet Cheta. Cheta here is the head of the creative department, one of our best directors, producers, and script editor. And he is my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? I mean, uh, hi, hi, nice to meet you, Mr. Cheta. Same here. So he's going to be supervising you, Cheta. Kambili is new. She's a journalist that wants to navigate into the area of script writing. I do not trust her level of intelligence yet. So please, supervise her, because I want Mrs. Wura's project to be the best. Are we going to be working on the project together? No. You're only going to be supervising her. And we have two months. If we get this right, submitted and accepted, this is going to be the biggest gig for this company. Uh, um, thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, don't forget. It's the biggest opportunity of your life. So do not mess it up. Okay? You may leave now. Uh, thank you, Z. Uh, boss. Never forget that. Do have a great day. <sighs> so, babe, yeah. how are you? Good. You know we're supposed to talk about that project. Oh yeah, the uh, Nestle project. The Nestle I'm, project. How's yes. that going? Like this is why dogs are better than cats. Right. Like cats are just roommates. <laughs> like the, the, I cut you not, man. Like I was living with a cat in my house, and it was crazy. I know. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> but like a dog, like a dog is loyal to you unconditionally. It's hundred. Love. Oh wait. Uh -uh. Like I'm telling you. Calling. Sorry, one second. Okay. I wonder what's, what's up with her. It's insane. <sighs> Hi, Cam Cam. Zero, where are you? I'm home. What's up? I'm on my way to your house. What? My house? Um, you know what? I would just, I'll just be on my way to your house. No, no, no. There is no need for that. I'm quite close already. Close to, girl. Um, you know what? I lied. Okay, I lied about being home. I'm actually with Levi in Levi's, Levi's house. All right. Mm. Uh, why don't I just come to your house then? <laughs> you know, it's even not so far from your house. I'll just, I'll just show up, okay? Fine, I'll be waiting. Alrighty. Um, hey, I, I need to go see Cam. Are you leaving already? Yeah, <laughs> I am. Uh, you know what? Just lock the door if you have to leave before i get back just lock the door help me keep the key at the usual place okay all right yeah wait wait what about some before you leave please come on please not now okay oh just wait for me okay i'll wait for you yeah I'll promise be back in a promise <laughs> of course i love you okay i love you too babe let me think of something to wear How is the project going? It's going well. Mm. Please try not to disappoint me. Have I ever disappointed you before? The fact that I don't talk about it doesn't mean you have been doing your best lately. If I'm not getting some things right, please. Do not hesitate to tell me. I sure will. Why were you looking at Kambili like that earlier? Have you two met before? I don't think so. I was even surprised that you allowed a stranger into your house. I know you hate people coming to your house. I know, right? It's just that I've known Kambili from my university days. She wasn't a good friend to me. But then I employed her because it's strictly business, which is why I want you to keep an eye on her. I understand. I will maintain a strict business relationship with her. A 
I trust you. I want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for how I, I behaved the other day. I'm sorry. Oh, you apologized already and I forgive you. Okay. In that case, take a break. I think I should treat you to a nice massage. How about that? Mm. <laughs> hmm. Are you sure it's just a massage? The one with a happy ending? <laughs> Her boyfriend? Girls, I was just wishing the ground could open and swallow me. I don't see why you're so worried. Sira, <sighs> the guy I had a one night stand with in my house happens to be my boss's boyfriend. Sini has always had eyes for the cutest ones. I envy her. And well, um, this job means a lot to me. I mean, I'm so grateful she has entrusted me with such a big project, even as a newbie. So I'm really not going to let anything jeopardize that. Not even Chetachi. Well, like they say, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. You know, I actually second that. Because I don't want you losing your job again. Especially not because of a man this time. It's my Levi calling. You and this your boyfriend that we don't ever get to see. Mm. Why aren't you answering his call? Oh, I will call him later. You know, this is my girl's time with you guys. I don't want anything to distract him. If I pick you, we could talk for hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, when are we going to see this peace of mind? Abby, you don't trust us. Girl, please. It's not even about trust. Okay? It's just one of those very mature, private men. Doesn't fancy too much attention. Mm -hmm. You know, he's buried today, tomorrow is Dubai, and the next is London. Like, he's always on the road. But you know what I'm going to do? I would find some free time from in between one of those his numerous official trips. I'll put something together. Maybe have dinner, you know, so you guys can get to meet him. Please, oh, do I beg. Because you've been dating this guy for two years. Two whole years, and we've not seen him. Not even a photo of him. <laughs> you know how it is now? It's not easy. I mean, they sent a big boy. You know, <laughs> but I, let me just even text him and tell him. Oh, that's not what he's even doing me. What do I do? Oh, what are you going to do about what? This guy is not taking me seriously. What, what's this now? Oh, I oh, mean, just tear up. It will be fine. Okay? Well, the one night stand is done. Shall don't lose your job. Hi, Kambili. Hello. I sent you an email regarding the AFA project. I need you to go through it properly so you can understand the kind of story we're trying to tell. I'm on it already. Good. You don't want to talk about it? Talk about what? What happened that night at your house? Can we not talk about that night? So you want us to play pretend like nothing happened? It was night? fun while it lasted. Chetachi, get over it. Hmm. Meaning you want to keep this professional? 
Your girlfriend is my boss. And you see, this job means a lot to me. I'm not about to lose it because of some stupid sex. Ouch. No hard feelings. But it's the truth. It's okay. I completely understand. Now let's go make sure the AFE project meets the standard, else none of us will have a job. Come on. Go where? The production studio. Let's go. I'll be with you. I'm sorry, but we do not give out our production equipment. The reason is that people tend to misuse them. I know. Yes. But I can only do that on one condition. Yes. One of our staff has to represent us. It's either you're using our director or our cinematographer. Yes, that is the only condition. All right, then you discuss with your team and let me know. Thank you. Yeah. Shut up. What is this? What is what? I gave you the opportunity to be able to produce and direct Road to Pain and you sent me this rubbish? What sort of preview is this? Wait, is there something wrong with the production? Everything is wrong with it! You... Just I used to be good. But now I don't know if you are so relaxed or whatever, I don't know. You have even missed your angles. And then the soundtrack... It's horrible. You couldn't even call Bonner Boy or Whiskey so they can give you a song or something and then you use this, this, this amateur soundtrack. I missed some angles. Uh, are you being serious? Yes, you did. And this is rubbish. You know, every post-production crew who has seen this movie has something positive to say. You're the only one who has something negative to say. Really? So you're considering those I service people their decision over mine? Are you saying their opinion is more superior than mine? That's not what I mean, Z. Z? Cheta is boss. I am your boss. I employed you. So you refer me as one. Okay, boss. Fine. But this... This is nonsense. Chata, you have to look into it. You have to change some certain things. What is this? My brand was built on my blood, money, and sweat. They know me for good quality things, not this. How am I going to release this? Chata, please, you need to redo this. Work on it, please. People don't get these opportunities these days. I give it to you and then you what? You just do anything or anyhow you want with it. No, it's not possible. Money, blood, and sweat was put into this. Zilla Studios, it's not for amateurs. So you have to do something about it, please. Wow. This is so beautiful. You know, I really wish I had started working with Delicious before this production. This is definitely going to bag awards. You think so? Of course. Why? Are you having doubts? Someone thinks it's not good enough. When you say someone, you mean your girlfriend? Yes. She says it's not good enough. <laughs> I really don't know why she would say a thing like that, but what I just watched right now is amazing. Are you sure? Of course I am. And this is perfect. Like I would literally rate it a 10 over 10. Oh. 
Thank you. Thank, thank you, really. Thank you for saying that because at some point I, I started to feel like I was losing my creativity, but <sighs> thank you. You're welcome. How is the plotting coming out? Oh, that. I'm still trying to come up with a more interesting script treatment. I would draft a compelling opening and tomorrow I'll proceed with screenplay. Okay. What? We can be friends, you know? Friendship? Yes, we can be friends. Well, since you want to pretend that nothing happened that night, sure, we can be friends. Be in my office. in your eyes got me hypnotized yeah baby no lie the way you walk and the way you talk got me mesmerized yeah baby no lie I can't deny I must admit I love you do you like it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely love it. It looks so lovely on you. Right? I swear. Thank you, baby. Mm. <sighs> Thank you, baby. No, see, you know I love you so much, eh? I just want to spoil you with everything I have. Wow, you're already spoiling me. Even though I already told you that. You don't have to do anything for me, okay? I don't need anything from you. Okay, well, you know my friend is having a dinner party. Small dinner party. It would be nice if you could follow me. Oh, oh, please. Come on, Z, come on. Wait, is that, is that what all of this is about? Is it? <laughs> Your dinner thing. What do you take me for? Huh? 22? What do you mean by that now exactly? You know what? I am not going with you to the kiddies party. All right? So, oh, come on. I can't. Don't come you on. get it? I'm party with kids. Please. Now. What? What is going on here? Kamili! Kamili! See, then, boss. Why are you sleeping on duty? No, I'm, I'm not sleeping. Just trying to rest my eyes. Well, I'm not paying you to rest your damn eyes. I am paying you to get your shit together and give me a good script. Like, what is this? Anyway, how is the project going? It's going well. I started the drafting yesterday, so I couldn't get enough rest. I walked all through the night. Hmm, I see. Well, you need to send me the screen treatment this weekend. And it better be good, because I'll be forwarding it to our clients. And the opening scene has to be compelling. Because once it doesn't glue the audience, the clients assume that the project won't be good enough. Um, I'll send it to your email over the weekend. Fair enough. Where is Chetachi? I have no idea. Do you have no idea? For someone you are supposed to be working with as a team? You know, you're too rude for a girl. Please give me all the patience in the world because I'm about to rip. Okay. Hey, partner. Our girlfriend just left the office. 
Yeah, I saw her leaving. Why? Right, what's wrong? I'm in trouble. She wants me to send the script treatment this weekend, and I'm not done with it yet. <sighs> she does that all the time. Kambili, this project is a big deal to her and the entire company. If we don't have a well-constructed script, then we're already having a bad start. <laughs> That's it. I'm in a big mess. Jesus Christ. What's the problem? I, I'm having writer's block. Nothing seems to be working. I don't uh, know what to do. Don't let Z hear that. You know what? Just relax, okay? Actually, I'm going to take you somewhere to clear your head. Hey. <laughs> hey! I brought lunch for the most hard-working woman that I know. Oh, Chita. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I just have to eat later. What? No. Absolutely not. You're eating it right now. Please eat. You've been working on this thing since morning. You, you deserve a break. Eat. I really wish I could, but I do not want to give Zini reason to doubt my competence. <laughs> she already thinks I'm a failure and I need to change that narrative. And you're going to prove that by starving yourself. Come on, take five minutes, eat, enjoy, live life, all right? If you don't eat, I'm going to force it down your throat. <laughs> I'm already about to eat. Mm -hmm. I'm actually hungry, like really hungry. I know. This. It looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Smells good. What in the heaven's name is going on here? What is this? Eating in my company? Does this look like a restaurant to you? Sorry, boss. Actually, I got the food for her. I realized she didn't go out for her lunch break, so I decided to get her lunch. Cheta, let me see you outside. And clean up that mess. This is not a local restaurant. At this point, I just wish I can give up everything and walk away from this suffocating atmosphere. I want to leave so bad, but I have bills to pay, and these bills won't wait till I find myself another job. <sighs> Relax, Kambili. Relax. You've got this. What was that about? What was what about? I was talking to my staff, and you interfered. Why? I was only trying to explain the situation of things. Chata, I find that really disrespectful. This is my company, okay? And you work for me, remember? I was your boyfriend before you begged me to work for you. And now you no longer see me as your boyfriend but your staff. What is wrong with you? Chata, Chata, you will not raise your voice at me. In this office, this office is my office. I employed you and you will treat me with respect. I am your boss. Are you for real? Yes. You call a simple explanation disrespect, but you don't see you talking to me like this, like a child, disrespectful. What is wrong with, is, is this what working for you has turned me into? You know what? I am done with this conversation, okay? Anyway, the film house will be previewing our movie, Road to Pain. Just I pray, pray they don't see the errors that I saw. I give you something little to handle and you couldn't do it well, but yet you want me to what? Babysit you? I run this company with my blood, sweat, and money. Not with love. Excuse me.
Hey, babes. Hi, Kambili. Are you at home? Yeah. I'm still working on Zini's screenplay. Okay. Um, I am on my way to your house. I'm like five minutes away. Okay, that's fine. Alright, see you soon. Let's see. Seven times you have ripped my heart, and seven times I have died. Not a cat with nine lives, and you wonder how I survived. You have my blood dripping from your hands, and you still think that I'm alive. Because I stand here and tell you about your deceit. Well, I am just a walking corpse. Oh, come in. It's open. Oh, hi. Hey. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Are you okay? Yeah, I I just didn't want to stay at home. What's this scratch on your face? What happened? And please don't tell me you fell. No, I didn't fall. I... I had another fight with my annoying neighbor again. Again? Who, wait, wait. What is this? What is wrong with your neighbor? Why is she so troublesome? Honestly, what is wrong with her? And I don't get it. Why haven't you arrested her? Really? I mean, if it was Zirachi, do you think she would get away with this? can't believe. It's okay. I'm fine. Okay, I've called my caretaker and they're working on it. Very soon she's going to move out of the house and no one will bother me again. Better, because the next time she does a thing like this to you, I will personally arrest her. What's wrong with her? It's fine. Okay, so how is the writing going? My dear, I don't even know. I'm just doing my best, honestly, just to make sure it's good enough for to miss perfectionist. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I'll be fine. Okay. Mm. I, I don't think Winnie should respond to this. You don't think she should respond to his dialogue? No. You know, every dialogue should matter, can't believe, you know. You, you already said this in another scene. Yeah, I think another character should take this line. This one? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, no. This? Yes, this one. Okay, so this. Uh, yes, this one. Oh, so movies take, too. Yes, or oh, the writer of the taxi. That guy is a good writer. Yes, please. You know what? Send me his email address, okay? I'm going to reach out to him. I need him. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. All right. Bye. You're getting another writer? You think my business is some kind of humbuggery? I built this firm with my blood, sweat, and money to sit down and think that you write me something awesome. When a simple script treatment you haven't sent to me for over three days now. Sorry, boss. I don't need you to be sorry. I need you to write me a damn script. Cheta, mm -hmm. you didn't tell her how we are oppressed around here. I think Cam Billy is a perfectionist. What she has is good, but she wants to make it better. Well, I don't have that time to waste. Okay? Get to work. If by the end of tomorrow I don't get that script treatment, consider that seat of yours replaced. Nonsense. Baby, I love you. I love you too.
You heard her. I have till tomorrow to send the script treatment. Okay. And I think we should work outside the office. Seven times you have ripped my heart out, and seven times I have died. I am not a cat with nine lives, and you wonder how I survived. You have my blood dripping from your hands, and you still think that I'm alive? Because I stand here to tell you about your deceit. Well, I'm just a walking corpse, buried under your lies. I was meant to lead you, so I am to blame. You blame me for pulling the trigger when it was you who got me the gun. Why are we arguing, Winnie? You never wanted any of this. Neither did you. You have become a shadow of yourself that you cannot even see the beast you've become. The monster you created. I loved you, Winnie, but it's painful. Our love is never enough. Wow. This, this is a beautiful story. <laughs> you think she will like it? Of course she's going to love it. Send her an email already. All right. <sighs> you know, you've been working really hard. How about you go with me on a dinner date? No, Jotachi. So you're saying that what we really had that night meant nothing to you? Can we please not go down that route? Please. Sure. I am. Um... 
I need to run. Ah. See you soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for today. Yeah. Hey, I was just about to call you. I was just about going to your office. So I got this amazing synopsis that will blow your mind. Right. I think we should focus on the project at hand. Has Zini responded to your email yet? Zini doesn't like the treatment at all. Um, good morning, boss. You don't like the treatment I sent? Well... It didn't meet my expectations, but it has some potentials. But I think you need to rework the scene treatment and the screenplay. Then send it back to my email. I can forward it to the client. Hopefully, they like it. Okay. Does that mean we should continue with the project plan? Of course, baby. <sighs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, boss. Can't believe. If I were you, I would handle this project like my life depends on it. Because this is going to be the biggest project you've ever handled in your entire life. You know what? I am going to supervise the beginning and the closing scenes. You will need to stay at my house. Your house? Yes, my house. The beginning and the closing scenes are very important. It's either you get it right, or you don't. Do you have a problem with that? No. I thought as much. Baby. I have a meeting with Mrs. Bankoli. Mm. I'll see you when I get back. Love you. I love you too. Please keep an eye on her, okay? Of course. My eyes are always on her. We're partners, remember? I know. Mm -hmm. I trust you. Yeah. Bye. So, where were we? Ah, uh -uh. Billy. Babe, your phone is ringing. Oh, I'm coming. <sighs> Don't you want to know who is calling, babe? Oh, who is it? It's Kimberly. Oh, I'm coming. Oh. Let me just answer. Tell her you're busy. Hi, Kimberly. Babes, what's up? Hi, Kimberly. Hi. Sorry, who are you? It's Levi. Oh, my. So you are the Levi. Ah, <laughs> you've heard about me. Huh? What? Hey. Hey, God. You picked my call. When did we start doing that one? Why did you pick my call? I just saw it was Kimberly calling your bestie. So I just saw it as an opportunity to say hi. Never. I do not. Don't you ever pick my call again, okay? But I didn't even say much. It was just that. It was just what? Eh? Look at this. This butterfly thinking itself a bird. What? Wait, you won't pick my call yet. So yeah, you heard about I'm a butterfly, I think it's a bird. Is she your mate? Why did you pick the call? You haven't tell telling her what I don't know. And she heard about you. Wait, where do you think you're going? I'm going home, Zira. <laughs> oh my god, you're so hilarious. You must be joking. 
Yeah. This is obviously a one-sided relationship and I seem to be at the bad side of the relationship and it's not on my side at all. My heart is at stake and I'm leaving. I'm done. You're always saying Gen Z this, <laughs> Gen Z that. Let me just save you the embarrassment. I'm leaving. I'm done. Hey, Joker. <laughs> You're definitely joking, right? Can't be serious. Watch me, man. Hey. Z baby, you've suffered. I've suffered though, because if not for love, why did I see this one that's talking to me anyhow? Small mommy's boy that I'm managing, helping. Thank <laughs> God. Whew. Wow, small boy of yesterday. I beg, what did can believe on oneself? Let me call her back. Little butterfly. Hello? Yeah, um, um, actually thinking of editing the first line. Yeah. Like it's too cheesy. <laughs> People like cheesy. Yeah. Do they? Yeah. Hey, baby. Hey. How's it going? Good. Oh. How's work? Uh, work is fine. How's it going? Well, it's going well. You know, Cambly here is amazing. Mm. <laughs> yes. Baby, this movie is going to be sick. Mm. You know, we shouldn't put so much hope in her, right? <laughs> That's like saying I shouldn't believe in myself. What do you mean by that? Baby, I'm a part of this project too. I'm working hand in hand, supervising the script to make sure we have a very good script for this project. Oh. Okay, I understand if you don't believe in her, but please have some faith in me. Of course. Mm. You're in the best in this. Absolute best. Mm. Oh, uh, baby. What? We're working. I know. Um, it's my house, okay? And anyone who is not comfortable with this can get the hell out. Okay. What I'm saying is we're working at the moment and this is a distraction. Yeah. All right. Come. Let's go to the room. I want to show you something. Like right now? Yes, right now. Hey, well... Working is... <clears throat> um, I said I need you right now. I... I need to use the restroom. I'll be back shortly. Okay. <sighs> you look so hot and sexy. Hey. <laughs> if I say I want you, I say I want you. I want you now. Is this what you've subjected yourself into? Can't believe what is wrong with you. What? You need this job. Get your head in the game. You need this job. Focus. Focus. Focus, okay? You are here to work. That is what you would do. How's it going? How would you know when you abandoned our projects to go satisfy your sexual needs? My sexual needs? Wait, you think I went upstairs to have sex? When a woman says, come with me, I have something to show you. What does that mean? It means she bought a new wristwatch and she needed me to see it. What's with the attitude? Wait. Wait, hold on a second. Are you jealous? What? Me. Jealous. 
Oh my goodness, you must really rate yourself so high. I know you have a girlfriend. And can we just focus on the job that's paying us? Well, hell yeah, I am damn jealous. Isn't it obvious? But then again, I need the job, so I have to keep it at all cost. I'm just going to pretend this didn't get to me and move past it. Hey. Relax. What is going on here? Uh, well, Camberley is having a little emotional breakdown and I was just trying to console her. So you have a huge project ahead of you and you allow your emotions creep in? Like what is wrong with you? Babe. I'm done with the first few scenes. Would you want to see it now? Because I really want to go home. All right then. If you insist that I must read it, send it to my email. Yeah. It's work, okay? So bury your emotions. Look, I can come with you if you No, if you... no, don't. Don't bother yourself. If I need you, I'll call you. Another swollen cheek. Ew. What happened? Hey, why did you leave her? Do you have some sort of blood covenant with her or what? Why won't she let you be? Good look. Today, that your neighbor, she's going to see crazy. Is she mad? Like, is she okay? What sort of rubbish is this now? See? There's nothing anybody's going to tell me. Today, I'm going to beat that girl black and blue. I am with you. She didn't do this. Then who? What happened? I don't know why everyone seems to see me as a weak person. I had an argument with a cab guy yesterday. I insulted and provoked him and he punched me. <laughs> a cabby punched you? I am just sitting here doing nothing about I, I it. I get it. <laughs> See, some of those people are so useless. Like, you need to put them in their place. This one, we're definitely reporting to the police. Zirachi, please calm down. Your blood to the horse yes. big. <gasps> yeah, horse. I said it was my fault. Erima, I get it. You are soft. You are easygoing. But come on. You can't keep letting this happen to you. Sometimes like this, you have to change it. Change them for people. Change them. What is this? You know what? Is that your neighbor that I'm even planning for? If I catch her, eh? My dear, it's not just you. It's not just you. I swear. Anyway, me, I came here to talk about the fact that, I mean, it's your birthday in about a week. <sighs> so, I was thinking of introducing you to a man. A nice guy. No. Don't go down that route. Too, too late. Zira is right. You need to find a man one way or the other. You've been single for way too long. You too? Mm-hmm. Please, what's the plan for the birthday so? Mm. Nothing serious. It's okay. Dinner at home. Okay. Was okay. <laughs> so there's this guy who wrote to me. He loves dinners. In fact, he's going to be he's going to be around for the dinner, okay? 
and yeah, it will be a nice time. He's a fine looking young man. I'm sure you like him. Um, Erma, you should come with Eric as well. And I hope you come with Levi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, should. you shouldn't be too busy this year to miss Kambili's birthday party. Um, yeah, you have a point, but mm. you know, he's just such a busy man, honestly. Mm. It's just a lot, you know, like... No buts. If the... Um, what's his name? Rot Rotini is coming, then bye-bye. It's coming too. I'll try, Sha. You know, I'll just try. You know, find some time. <laughs> so he's speaking English. He's I'm telling you guys, this man is busy. See, my girl, see, she, my girl, is our friend. I don't understand how. Because look at what she's doing. No, stop taking hey, rubbish. God, this year, no grief for anybody. Oh, hey, God. You hear God, what I mean? God, mercy. Do not grieve. Hmm. Oh, what is this rubbish? You punch you, you leave him. This is. So, my birthday is in a few days, and my friends are planning a dinner party at my house. Ooh. Interesting. Mm hmm. Am I invited? Mm -hmm. You are. Well, they're actually trying to hook me up with a the guy. They think I've been single for too long. <laughs> right. Hmm. That means they actually have your best interest at heart. Are you open to seeing someone? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Let me just meet the guy first. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I pray he's the man of your dreams because you're a good woman and you deserve the best. A good woman, you say? <laughs> a good woman who can get herself a good man. <laughs> I guess I'm not good enough after all. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you're a very strong woman. I actually admire your strength and resilience. Anyone who doesn't see these qualities is either blind or stupid. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you for your kind words. Mm. I appreciate. You're welcome. Well, you need to head home quickly because I don't want your girlfriends to kill me. <laughs> Please. Stop it. She's not that bad. Yeah, of course. She's not. Yeah, she's sweet. Yeah, very sweet. <laughs> Extremely sweet. <laughs> Levi. Hey. Hey, Zira. Wow. So it's just, hey, Zira now? Yes, what else should I call you? Anyway, I, I've been calling you for days. You've not been taking my call. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong, Zira. I just don't want to be a butterfly taking itself a bird. Wow. You really had that in your mind all this time? Come on now, it's been five whole days. Plus, I, I was angry. That's the problem, Zira. You're always angry. You're always angry with every little thing I do. Even when I'm just trying to be kind and nice to you. See, Zira, yeah, I love you and all. Hmm. But I won't be a fool for love, I swear. Look, I miss you. I miss us. You don't miss me, Zira. Perhaps you're just horny. Maybe you just miss me for my deal. I don't blame you. Hey, don't don't talk to me. Just stay like the hell away from me, Zira. Just stay the hell away from me. Hey, hey. Truly, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Every time you're sorry, it's as it's as if you you treat me even worse, and it's not fair. It's not fair. I swear, it's not fair. I'm serious this time. Okay. I mean it. In fact, I want to make it up to you, okay? My friend is having her birthday this weekend. And I would like for you to come with me. Oh, are you sure? Mm-hmm. That'll be awesome. So you're trying to say I'll be amongst your friends? Yes, baby. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll be there. Ah. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, baby. Um, so, can we go home now? Yes, baby, can. <laughs> All right. Like, why are you always playing this? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm 
I'm coming. Hey. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, wow. You look amazing. Thank you. Oof. <laughs> You're early. Yes, I wanted to come early so I can witness your your date's grand entry. Uh, please, don't start. Please. <laughs> I got you something. <sighs> yeah. That's thoughtful of you. Thank you. My pleasure. Happy birthday. Mm. You smell nice. Nice. Um, that should be my friends. Yeah. Just have a sit. Mm. But mind you, my friends are crazy, so. Interesting. I'm here. Hey, boo. <laughs> Happy birthday, girl. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aww, you look so nice. Thank you. Madam, you said you were going to help me plan this party. And I did. I mean, I'm sorry I'm coming in a bit late, but it's because I had to attend to something. Who is this? Oh, this? <laughs> this is um, Ivo. Ivo is the vice cousin. His little cousin, actually. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you, Ivo. He insisted he had to come with me. I was just like, okay, you know what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> just come along. Yes, Levi is cute then because, I mean, look at his cousin. You're right, Levi. <laughs> look at that. They look so much alike. Come on, go ahead, sit. All right? <laughs> oh, Baby my girl. girl. <laughs> Tonight we party. Hey. I, this is. Oh. Every ma. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Girl! How are you? Oh, hi. hi, Eric! Hello, Rosie. Hi. Nice to see you again. Likewise. Happy birthday, company. Thank you, thank wow. you. You're looking beautiful. As always, <laughs> thank you. You've been very scarce, but uh, Rima has been talking about you, so, you know, it's okay. Talking about me? Yeah. So, what did she say about me? Oh! All nice things. Mm -hmm. Or is there something we need to know? Maybe you should tell me. <laughs> it's just coming. Come in. Okay. Come have a seat. Ooh. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Uh, girls, this is Chetachi. Mm. Chetachi? Yes. These are my you. friends. Erima and Zirachi. Then this is Eric. Nice to meet you guys. And yeah. Ivo. <laughs> yeah, I'm Ivo. What is your hair? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Girls. <laughs> A video. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Oh, that's <laughs> cute. Oh, okay. Everyone, come around. Um, Cam Cam is about to cut her cake. Mm -hmm. So let's all come around, please. Come, come, come. Yes, 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 please. Okay. My darling Cam Cam. It's um, time for you to make a wish. And I hope that you wish for a man of your own this time around. Oh, <laughs> oh that must be your date. Just a minute. Uh, it should be interesting. Oh. <clears throat> Hi, Rotimi. How are you? Very well, thank you. Thank you so no, just come along. Let me introduce you to the celebrants. Um, come, come. This is Rotimi. Rotimi. Come meet my friend. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Thank you. I'll just get you a drink, all right? All right. Thank you. Guys. So this is the almighty guest we've been waiting for. I hope I met your expectations. Mm. I think <sighs> she deserves better. What did you say? Excuse me? You're excused, my friend. Will you shut the fuck up? I'm not your oh, friend. Um, hi. Well, you're welcome. What Thank you. Mean? you. Zirachi has said so much about you, so. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What a good way to start. 
<clears throat> um, so Kambli was just about to cut her cake. Let me go get a knife. Oh, you look very beautiful. <clears throat> uh, thank you. You're Actually, welcome. that's my man. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was just complimenting a beautiful lady. <laughs> no, maybe you should focus more on your date instead of complimenting other women. Dummy. You are very protective of the celebrant. Is there something I should know? I'm glad you noticed. Mess with her and see who comes for you. Stop it already, guys. Chotachi. It's Kambili's birthday. Please stop making her guest uncomfortable. It's like a warm welcome. Thank you. Are you mad? Is something wrong with you? How many times have I told you to always watch where you're going to? See the way you stepped on me. Are you okay? Did you just hit my friend? Oh my god. I knew it. So it was you all along? I had my suspicions. I but I just didn't want to believe it. Irma, so this, this is the annoying neighbor that you told us about? Wow. Are you mad? You dare slap me? What are you going to do about it? Don't you ever touch my woman in my presence. You little escort. For the fact that your brother asked you to escort this woman doesn't make you a man. Everybody, Zira is my girlfriend, though. Zira is my girlfriend. I know, I, I said it. I said it. And I'll never allow an animal like you take himself a man to touch a beautiful girl. Stop it! Levi! Stop. Just... Hey guys, you know what? Here is becoming very contact girls, and I think it's time I take my leave. And you, you're standing there and watch your friend raise her hand on me. You will meet me at home. You will show me at home! You're a beast. Rubbish. <laughs> See? See, what have you done? You've killed me. Eric is going to kill me. <laughs> Bye -bye. Now. Hey. Very nice to meet you, Kambili. Levi! Home. And your name is Levi. What just happened? Everything happened so fast. Oh my goodness. I never envisioned my birthday to be like this. Yeah. And that guy? is not the one for you. Someone who chickens out at the slightest opportunity. I don't know why you can't say it. Happy birthday again. Your smile, the magic in your eyes Got me hypnotized, yeah Baby, no lie the way you walk and the way you talk got me mesmerized, yeah. Baby, no lie. I can't deny, I must admit, I love you. I love you. Girl, I need you, yeah. Baby, be mine. Baby, be mine. I can't deny, I must admit, I love you, love I you, girl, love you. and I need you, baby, baby be, be mine. mine.
was a perfect orchestration full and deep, no limitation. No exaggeration when I say the way you got me smitten. I can't help myself, even when I try to deny it. Deep in my heart, I know you are my addiction, a magical expression. Something in the way you look at me, not to mention. Can you feel the connection? Boy, you got me head over heels for you. Why are you so mad at me? Like, why are you so mad at me? Is it a crime to defend my woman? So I should just sit down and watch a man hit you just because you don't want your friends to know who I am? That makes no sense. Do you have an idea what you've done? You could have just kept quiet, but you thought to show yourself a man. I am a man. You are a boy. How can I please you? What does it take to please you? Hmm? You could have just stuck to the plan. What plan? What plan we asked to have stuck with? A plan I had no knowledge of. All of a sudden, just stuff it down my throat. Even called me Levi's younger brother. Give me a stupid name. I did not change your name. Okay? I just pronounced it backward. So Levi, Evel, Potato, I, Potato. I'm so, I'm so smart. How long does it take you to know that I actually love you? My affections for you is beyond this world. Like, I really love you. What long does it take you to know that? So will you ever be proud of me? Will you ever love me or give me the same affection I give you? I guess you'll never know. Makes no sense. I'm done. And I swear this time I mean it. Like, I'm done, man. I'm done. You know what? Go. Okay? Wow. Never come back. Wow. Yes. So that's you've been trying to keep shit yeah, together. Go, just just get off my face. I'm sure you're gonna call me and I won't take your calls. I can't deny I must confess I love you. I love you Girl, I need you, need you. Baby, be mine Boy, I can't, can't deny I must admit I love you I really love Baby, you Baby, I need you What the hell is wrong with you? Eh? You think your friend can just come and talk to me now? Get that from that car! Run! Out of the car! Come on! You better you are your president. Stop it. 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 Stop I mean, fuck off, man. Fuck off. Fuck off. I knew he was going to call back. <laughs> Hello? I thought you said it was over. I just saw a mama's boyfriend, Peter Miss Nestle, and abandoned her body on the roadside. Hello? Oh yeah, I'm taking her to the hospital. Erima? Come and check on her, please. Where are you guys? What hospital are you taking her? How is she? Like, what, what condition is she in? Newton Hospital. That's the closest hospital to me right now. Come to New okay. Newton Hospital, please. Okay, I'll be there. Okay? Oh my god. Erima. Seriously? How many? 
many times do I have to respond to this same email? When people are not intelligent is a problem. It's a very big problem. No way, I'm not doing this again. Nah. project is stressful. <sighs> I miss Chatachi. Let me call him. Busy my call. <sighs> this nigga is becoming really proud. I don't get it. You're too busy for your girlfriend. I see, I see. He's becoming really proud, huh? I'll show him who the real boss lady is. Like what rubbish. Why did I even call him in the first place? work it's more annoying people Cheta wake up your girlfriend called you need to leave not again Are we really doing this again? Just go back to your reality. So you're telling me that everything that happened last night meant nothing? I was under the influence, No, Chita. stop. Not again, please. Canberry, look me in the eye and tell me that you don't love me. Hey, Zerachi. Levi found every man lying lifelessly on the floor. He has taken us to the hospital. What? Uh, what hospital? Newton. Newton Hospital. Newton. Uh, I'll be there shortly. Wait, who's at the hospital? My friend, every man. Her boyfriend hit her again. Like, what kind, what kind of useless guy is this? I'm coming with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm good. I'm good. Jenny? Chitachi. Oh my god! <laughs> Jenny! Oh my goodness! What, what, what are you doing in Abuja? I relocated to Abuja a year ago. My company transferred me here. Right. You look good as always. Nothing <laughs> has changed about you. Thank you. Thank you. You look amazing as well. Thank you. Wow. I changed my phone. I lost my number. Do you mind me exchanging numbers? So yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Why not? <laughs> I can't believe that you're here now. Me I mean, too. Like, yeah. I'm so surprised. Oh, really. my bad. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. Jenny, this is Cambily. She's my colleague. Cambily, this is Jenny, my ex. Hi, Cambily. Hi, Jenny. I'll be in the car. Oh. Uh, yeah. Everything, yeah, everything is fine. Yeah, I'll, 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 yeah. I'll, sure, sure. Come. Come, Billy. What? What's going on? 
Really, Chatachi? Really? How convenient was it for you to introduce me to your ex as your colleague? Well, you are my colleague. What was I supposed to introduce you? Anything us? but your colleague. For goodness sake, we had sex two nights ago and you stand here and call me your colleague. Are you being serious? Every time I try to talk to you about how I feel, you always shut me out. You said you want us to just be friends. What's the problem? What's with the attitude? You just won't understand. Come. How's it going? Uh, good. Kambili and I are done with the scripts. He's doing the cleanup. All right. I hope it's good. And I hope it's alpha wadi. I'll leave you to be the judge of that. All right. I need to run. It's getting late. What? I thought you were spending the night. No. Look, I need to go do the cleanup with Kambili. I might just see something that might require my attention. Well, you can always attend to that some other time. I miss you. We haven't spent quality time together in a while. And whose fault is that, Z? Hmm? When you're constantly treating me like I'm some errand boy because I work for you. <sighs> now I see why some guys have a problem with working for their women. Can we not just talk about that? I miss you. You haven't touched me in a while. Don't you miss me? Kiss me. Come on. Um, I need what? to go see you at work. Wait, Cheta? Cheta, are you being serious right now? You're just going to leave me hanging? Like, what the hell? This is plain. that Eric guy. It will never be well with him. Please don't curse him. What do you mean don't curse him? Someone did all of this to you, put you in this state, and you're still defending him. Someone that you should put behind bars. Erin, um, I don't get it. You still let a man hit you in this 21st century? Honestly. Come on. Eric has IED. Is that IED that will kill him? What's even IED? What the hell is IED? Intermittent Explosive Disorder. Intermittent Explosive Disorder. That involves frequent episodes of impulsive anger, which is out of proportion to the event that triggers it. Hey! Huh? Emma. That is synonymous to madness! Yes! You knew he had such a disorder and you stayed? Let him use you as a punching bag? Wow, girl. I've tried, Zirachi, I've tried. Oh. But I fear he's going to kill me one day. I have stayed hoping that things will get better. No, no, no. Irima, no. Irima, you cannot be patient with such a man. IED has no cure, at least none that I know of. It's a long-term thing. You know, that man is going to kill you one day, please. I've tried to leave. And every time I tried, he kept threatening to kill me. I don't know what else to do. He is a bastard. He's a very wicked one at that. And I will personally make sure that he rots behind bars. What is this? 
okay. It's fine. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It'll be fine. It's fine. Nonsense. And you, Zirachi? No, don't give me that look. Don't. You really think we've forgotten about Levi? Zirachi, how could you hide something like that from us? We are your friends for goodness sake. He, he's just so young. I couldn't bring myself to introduce him to you guys as, as my man. Oh, you love him. Yes, you do. You even have his number saved as peace of mind on your phone. So, the guy loves you too. I mean, he's ready to defend you in the presence of everyone, irrespective of who you are. Sirachi, you shouldn't be ashamed to accept your happiness. It's, it's easier said than done. The society would definitely judge me. Oh, no. No. I cannot believe you are prioritizing society's thought over your happiness. People will talk. They will always talk. They talk because they do not know how happy he makes you feel. You should always put yourself first. That's all that matters. Thank you. I'm sorry. Girls, we are friends, right? We've been friends for so long. We're non sisters. We shouldn't be keeping things like this from each other. Please. What is this? What is this rubbish? I asked you to get me an African-based story and you got me this rubbish? Rubbish? Uh, Jethachi and I went through this thoroughly. Honestly, it's an amazing story. Amazing story what? This is nonsense! I thought you said you were a creative! What is this rubbish you wrote? Okay, Z, what exactly is wrong with the script? Everything is wrong with the script! And what is even more annoying is that you don't even say it! You used to be so good before I employed you. But I guess you became very comfortable with your job. And ever since you've lost your sense of creativity. Well, I beg to differ, Zini. This man right here is the best director and script editor you can ever have. It's just so painful that you will never see the potential in the man you call your man. This man has put in so much effort, sleepless nights, just to make sure this project comes out the best, hoping that he can make you proud. <laughs> you said he was amazing when you met him, and now he's incompetent. Well, I tell you what, Zini Achibi, it is you who have subdued him to nothing. How dare you! You will not lift a finger on her. Oh, you are her defender, right? I see what this is about. You two are having an affair under my nose. Cheta, you are fucking Kambili, right? You call the script trash, right? Yes, it is. A good thing this script is my intellectual property. So I withdraw it from Zillia's studio with immediate effect. Oh, please go to hell. Zini, you should learn to appreciate people who can do the job you cannot do. Excuse me. You will never appreciate people. It's been terrible working with you, and I shouldn't have said yes when you asked me to. Have a great day. Listen. I'm done. I'm done with this failed relationship. You can go ahead and be with that jellyfish that misses nobody. Get out of my house.
I'm waiting for my ride. Would you like me to drop you off? You know I just lost my job, right? She didn't exactly say you're fired. <laughs> there is no way I would talk to Zina Chibi like that and I'll still have my job. Well, I guess we're both jobless. You might be jobless, but you still have your woman. So lucky you. Yes. I still have my woman and she still has a man. Go be with her then. I am with her. Where she stands, I stand. Kambili, I can never leave your side. This is so stupid. What is going to happen now? I definitely have to leave town because I'm not getting another job. Look, I believe in the script that we created. That's a story that will be highly talked about for good. Z just lost the opportunity to have a first ever BET award winning film. I don't know about you, but I am not giving up on that script. We're going to find sponsors, we'll get investors, and we're going to produce that movie for ourselves. Okay? And after that, we will submit it for awards. Thank you. I love you, Chitachi. You have no idea how long I have waited to hear you say those words. I love you too, Kambili. Okay, <laughs> we need to leave. Let me go get my car. Girlfriend? Boyfriend? <laughs> Thank you, my love. <sighs> How many emails have you sent so far? Mm. I've sent 10 so far. I'm hoping that four will reply. We don't need so many sponsors and investors on this project. We actually need the right ones who have the same vision as us and will be willing to push the project forward. That's true. But don't worry, the right sponsor will come soon. Mm. Okay? I believe God. Yeah, and I believe in you. Your talent, your creativity. You have a combination of beauty and brain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure this is going to be a huge success. Shall we? Mm-hmm. Mm. Why are you so fine? Like oh, this? can you stop it already? You're giving me that billion dollar smile. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is the smile that our investors need to see. <laughs> and then boom. If only my smile could get to us. Babe! I should leave her call. I don't care. Babe! Hey, babe. Come on. Come on, babe. Can I go catch you? Look. Hi, ma. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. Sorry for what? What are you sorry for? For everything. 
I was too concerned with what society thinks that I did nothing but hurt the man that has done nothing but loved me for the past two years. I've been trying to let you know how much I loved you. But it seems like you never change. It no, seems no, like no. you never change. I promise I've changed. Promise? Yes. You won't call me a butterfly again? No, never, What's ever. What's funny about that? I'm, I'm really serious. You, you take me, I'll see your friends. We'll have fun together. We'll go around the city. When needed, yes. You promise? <laughs> yes. You promise, promise. I promise, I cross my heart. Thank you, promise. Thank you, promise. <laughs> you the mess up, please, girl. You the mess up. You need to play. No, I'm sorry. Why are you playing with my heart? And it's, 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 it's not right, okay? But you know I love you, right? I love you too. Well, I'm still finding out if you love me. I Maybe do I'll start me. accepting it now. I'm sorry. You can catch my friend, okay? okay? Once I'm done, I'll come. I'll come to your side. Alright. I mm, take care, okay? I will. I love you. I want to leave this guy. She don't want me. She don't want me. She don't want me. No, she don't want me. She know I did vex. I did vex before. I did vex before. She don't want me. Babe? Babe? Babe. Baby, where are you? Yeah. Babe, where you at? Baby, guess what? <laughs> guess what? what? Baby, yes, yes. <laughs> guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess, 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 guess. what? What is it? Baby, what is it? Baby, we finally, we finally got that mail that we've been waiting for. Babe, babe, the investor replied? The exact one. That one. <laughs> oh my God. Baby. They love the script treatment that we sent. They think it's amazing. They can't stop talking about Winnie and Barry's death. Baby, this is it. This oh is our big break. Oh my god. I'm telling oh you. Oh my god. 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 Oh my I've never doubted you for once, not once, babe. You got this. And remember, it's teamwork. You and I, okay? Yeah. Teamwork. Teamwork, babe. Teamwork. 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 Hey. Teamwork, baby. Teamwork. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 we have to celebrate. Yes, we have, we have to celebrate. To, we, have we have to, to celebrate. <laughs> Hi, Bumi. Madam Singh, what's this? This isn't what I expected from you. Come on. Who the hell is your writer, Zini? This script is badly written and so unprofessionally edited. I mean, I cannot believe you sent that script and have the guts to say it's the clean-up job. Come on, Zini, you've gone past this. Bumi, Bumi, I am really sorry, okay? I am going to get a better editor to edit the script. You know what? Get me the writer of Death Halloween. Get that writer on board right now. That movie just hit a billionaire in box office in just one month. Listen, when you watch Death Halloween, you realize that the writer you have is actually a cleaner, not a writer. Zini, get me Kambiliago. Kambili Agu? Yes, Kambili Agu. She's the writer of Death Halloween and Chatachi Bernard is the director of that job. Get Kambili Agu to do the screenplay if you want to truly handle this project for my team. She's so good. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Have a nice day, Sydney. All right. I heard you, Bumi. Chatachi and Kambili. Death Halloween? Is that not the script I rejected? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh my god! <sighs> this can't be possible. Oh, Sini. Oh, shit, 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 shit. 
Uh, cheers to a billionaire in box office. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Honestly, I am very happy that this project turned out like this. We might not own total ownership to the one billionaire because we had a lot of investors on the project, but we are the biggest and the most talked about producers right now. All thanks to my brainiac. Babe, can you stop being modest? This is all your idea. No, it's all you. Baby, you made this possible. Come on. <laughs> Guys, please, I see it. <laughs> Hi, Kamali. Hi. Yeah, so um, I told him about our little celebration and he decided to join in. Good to see you again. It's always my pleasure. I heard about your win. Congratulations, man. And I saw the last time, please. Let us slide. Thank you. Hey, beautiful. How are you? Hey. You look beautiful as always. Thank you. What about your man? Oh, well, that monster has been arrested. You know, he almost had Arima killed. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If not for God's intervention, <laughs> she would have been long dead. Wow. But I am so glad because right now he's having a quality stay in prison. <laughs> Hey, come on, let him speak for herself now. But she's my friend. I know. She's your friend. <laughs> well, that's so sad. He lost you. If you have um, a beautiful woman like this, all the best you could do is cherish her, love her, adore her. Look, Erima, I would love to know you really well. What would you like to know? Everything. So great. Come in. Hi, everyone. Z, what are you doing here? A little Betty told me that the producer of Dead Halloween lives here, so I decided to visit. Congratulations, Camille. Your movie is doing great and it's topping chart. Oh, yeah. The same movie that you rejected and called trash. Guess what? It just hit one billion naira at the box office. How do you feel about that? You have always been the loud mouthed one. Probably. Well, I'm not surprised because it suits you. So, Kambili, I have a gig for you. And my man, you stole. Zeni, I didn't steal you, man. You lost him out of your carelessness and negligence. Mm. Well, I'm not here to banter words with you. It's not in my DNA to fight over a man. A man who wants to be taken will be taken. So, I want you and Cheta to write and produce a movie for myself and my client. The budget is huge. But we can discuss about it over dinner or something. We get royalties for whatever movies that we produce. Of course. I'll discuss with my team about it and I'll get back to the both of you. Cheta. Easy. You're a good man. And 
took me to lose you to realize that. You two deserve each other. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, that's such a sad story, isn't it? Guys, can we all let bygones be bygones? We are here to celebrate our friend's win. Let's focus on that already. All right, I'll be on my way out. Okay, then. So that's my cue. Let me give you guys some Gen Z vibes. Oh, okay. Okay, let go. <laughs> let go, baby. And just like that, we all got one thing we wanted so bad. Well, I got the love of my life, Chetachi. Irima, she got her freedom and stayed away from that monster of a man who will be having a long stay in jail. But I really do hope she realizes that routine is into her and hold on to that fine looking young man. But Zira, Zira finally chose happiness over gossips. I mean, she loves Levi, so why care about what people will say? So you see, good things also happen to good people too. And as for Zini, I wouldn't call her as karma. But hey, she got me to write for her, which is a good thing, I guess. Everyone is happy. Now so, I can call this one the happy ending. He was going to raise his voice, but now. You raise more. Let me raise more. Stand by. <laughs> <laughs> this is my imaginary goal. Mm. This one. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Come here. But you don't see you talking to me as what? What's the line there? Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> yes. What? Ready. How many times have I told you to put that on this watch? Let me take that again. Sorry. <laughs> Let's take it again. I suspected it, but I'm trying not to trust my suspicions. That's rubbish I said. Just go. Just go. 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 I'm so sorry. Do you have a girl, Yes. I pick up. Let's go. Tapping you alone. Ashen.